Hi everybody, this is Matt, and we're back with another TrackMania Mesh Modeler tutorial. And in this one, we're going to be creating a custom booster. And we'll also show you how to turn any block into a booster or an engine off or, or any of those special blocks. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a, a little mini booster here. And to do that, we'll go to item mode, and then on modes, click the right arrow, go to item editing, and click the plus to create a new block. And I'm just gonna place it right here. Then go to mesh and the settings here so we can edit it. Um, this block, this default block is four by four meters. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and scale this down. So I'll click on the block to select it, click scale, set the tool step to 50%. Click on the orange dot in the middle of it. And uh, we're just gonna drag it along that blue line to shrink it to half the height. Um, the next thing I want to do is currently it's centered around the origin. I usually like to put one of the corners at the origin. So I'll click on move and uh, set the tool step to two meters. And then we should be able to move that so that corner is directly on the origin. The next thing we need to do is I want it to be slightly wider to uh, fit the car better. So we'll go back to scale. Um, we have it set to 50% and I'll scale it along the blue axis. So this should be uh, six meters wide. And then we can do a similar thing here. Um, it doesn't matter too much how long it is, but let's just do that. That looks like a, a good size for, for our booster block. So the next thing we're gonna do is select all, hit copy selection, and we're going to create a new um, geometry layer hit control a and delete to delete that cube then we're going to set the click on paste selection and so when we do that it could we could put it anywhere um, if you set the tool step to zero meters it's going to go right in the perfect spot right there so now we have this on um, the same thing on two different layers so one layer is going to be um, and actually we're, we're going to need a third layer as well so why don't we just repeat that process one more time. So we'll create a third geometry layer, delete it and paste it, and then click right here. So we should have three layers all with the same block. I'm gonna hide two of these layers so we just have the top one. Click on the settings here. We're gonna delete uh, the side faces. So click on kind of each face and press the delete key. And we want to do the bottom one as well. Um, so let's see. If I can zoom in here and see that. Okay, perfect. So now I only have the, the top face left. Um, this layer is going to be visible but not collidable. So we'll uncheck the collidable geometry. Hit Control A to select all. We're gonna go and put a material. So that's uh, this paint can at the bottom. I think, let's see, page, yeah, page 10 has our special booster decal. We're going to select, um, Let's see, if we just applied the projection planer, that, that doesn't look quite right. Um, I, I think we want the cubic one. So hit Control A, select cubic. Uh, we're gonna go into the custom UV mode. So you can see this is kind of the, what our block is right here. Um, so we're gonna need to select it and move it so it actually is on the arrow. And we want our arrow pointed the other way, so we're gonna rotate it. So click on rotate UV edges, select everything, uh, and you can click and rotate this rectangle. It looks like I rotated the wrong way. So I'll flip that around and then we can scale it as well. So if you click on this one to scale UVs, make sure everything is selected. We can make it a little bit bigger. Click on move UVs again. I'm gonna move this right in kind of the perfect spot. I can get this centered. So I don't think there's a way to do this kind of with math. You kind of have to eyeball it. Um, perfect. So now I have a, a mini booster here. So that's everything on this layer. So now we're going to go back to one of the other layers. I'll do the second one um, with this whole cube on it. Select everything. It's going to be visible but not collidable. So this will just be kind of our um, visual concrete block. And then on the last layer, so if we hide these two, so on the bottom layer, going back to the settings here, selecting everything. So we want this to be visible, but, or not visible, but collidable. And then we can go into the materials and there's this uh, controller icon here. And so this is kind of where the magic happens, but whatever material you have selected 
on the bottom. Um, for example, concrete, you can select um, things to apply to it, whether it's a turbo or, or, or a no grip or slow-mo or whatever you want. Um, so let's say I select all and hit booster. It's gonna apply it on all the sides. I really only want the booster physics on the top layer. So I'm gonna select the whole thing and just make sure it's on the physics ID concrete and then just apply concrete to um, the concrete physics to the entire block. And then I'm gonna select the top layer just by clicking on that so you can see this is kind of highlighted in yellow. Um, click on the uh, controller, go back to the concrete turbo, and then we can apply that to the top. One thing to note is that these, um, you can't rotate them and they don't follow turns or anything. So if we were going to deform this and make this into a turn, um, the booster only goes in one direction. And if you wanna rotate it, you actually need to rotate the block. And so it's oh, this is always gonna be pointed and it actually doesn't follow the arrows. So these arrows point to the left, this booster is gonna go straight. And for whatever reason with the boosters, that's just how it is. Um, it's always just gonna go straight through the block and it's always in that same direction. And so now that we have our three layers, so just to summarize, one layer is uh, not visible, but collidable. And this is the one that should have our physics set up and including the physics on that top face. Uh, the next layer is what makes it look like concrete. And then the final layer is what gives that booster look. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. I'll save this as, um, let's see, mini booster, booster.gbx. Uh, hit back, I will edit the placement parameters. So this is usually a nice thing to do. I think the horizontal size of this one is like three and the vertical size is two. Go ahead and save that. And so now we should be able to place this here. Um, let's see, I think, yeah, some, okay, we'll, we'll go into uh, the free placement mode. So something might be up with those placement parameters or, or where I place it, um, but we'll go just into the free placement mode so we can place this in the perfect spot right here. So now it's um, the same height, two meters tall, it should be just wide enough for the car. Let's put it um, right here and we can try it out. So um, give it a little test run. So we got the turbo message and it, it gave our car a speed boost. And so if we just drive off, we should be able to see that our, our ghost zooms past us. So that's how to create a mini booster. So the next thing we're gonna show is how to create or how to modify an existing block. And this, is, this works pretty much the same way. So I'm gonna create, um, I'm gonna use this block here and we're going to just connect these so we'll be able to try it out. Uh, and let's do something down here. Um, so we'll be able to test this out. So that we'll, we'll modify this block. And usually what I like to do is delete those wooden placements before um, modifying like one of the built-in blocks. So we're gonna go at the bottom, go to item mode, uh, click the right, go to item editing, and we're gonna create new item from selected block, and we're gonna select this one. So we're gonna turn this into a booster. Um, this booster will only go in one direction. I think we can um, mirror this to modify it, but I haven't tried that. So if I click on geometry, this is, or here, let me just hide this one. So we have one layer uh, in the custom blocks are these like borders that you can bump into. And these are just the collision borders. And then the other layer is mainly the block with, of course, um, like this main face. And so we're gonna go to this block face and we wanna turn this plane into a booster. Um, or maybe we can do, um, and we can really do anything, engine off, slow-mo. Um, they all work the exact same way. They're, the materials are just in different places. So I'm gonna select, so if I like click over here, nothing selected. I'll click once on this gray area to select just this plane. If I hit delete, that'll show you what I selected. So I'll click on this, click copy selection, and then delete. And so we copy that uh, layer and we're gonna move it to a different layer. Um, so we're gonna click the plus, go to geometry, control A and delete to delete that cube. And then make sure the tool step is set to zero meters and we'll paste selection and we can paste this right here. So this layer is going to be our visible but not collidable layer. 
now we need to create another new layer um, for geometry and we can go and delete the cube that's there, paste in this selection again. And so this layer is going to be our, um, it's not visible, but it is collidable. And so we can go ahead and apply the booster physics right here. So we'll go back to the materials, click on the controller. Uh, we're gonna select the concrete turbo and hit apply. And so you can see that this, um, these arrows are in a certain direction. There's no way to rotate that. It's always gonna go either one way or the other. Um, the idea is that you can rotate the block if you need to rotate the turbo, or if you know more or experiment with it, please feel free to leave a comment with anything you learn. Um, so that we've applied now the booster physics to this block. So this layer, um, this layer is going to be visible, and then this top layer is going to be the physics. So the next thing we need to do then is apply our um, booster um, icon. And so we're going to create another new geometry layer. Again, hit Control A and delete to delete that block. Uh, hit paste selection, and we'll paste in our face once again. Uh, hit Control A and select the materials. We're going to go back over to page 10 and select our decal special turbo, and we'll apply it to our selection. Um, so here it does, um, so it, it looks right and normal when I apply this. If it doesn't, you can go in and edit the UV. So we might need to actually um, change this in, into the other direction. I think this is the right direction um, that's going to go, but let's go ahead and save this. And I'm just going to call it custom booster. And we'll hit back. And then edit our placement parameters to make it a little easier to place. Uh, save this again. Okay, so now we have our booster, so we can go try it out. I think it's gonna go this way. Um, yeah, so it says turbo, and so there we go. So we modified an existing block to uh, turn it into a turbo. Uh, you can really only do this with, um, like boosters can only go straight. You can make the uh, material look like it's a turn, but the actual booster physics is always in a straight line. So that's how to create custom boosters. Thanks so much for watching. If you have ideas or questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment and have a great rest of your day.